Okay, I believe we are live. Yes. Yes. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome back to the evil within. The spooky within. The bad protagonist within. Fortunately, today, we have downloadable content, and none of them, protagonists in any of them, is Sebastian. First two are Kidman, and the second one is Foxhead. Well, the third one, really. But these are, these are continuous stories. First two. And then the second one, or the third one, second one, is my own DLC. Play the villain. <gasps> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Anyway, I, I did take a look at, well, not in-game, but the, um, the Kuma difficulty. Um, it is quite something else. Like, it's not just, like, more difficult, like, more health, more, you know, whatever. The AI is actually better in that difficulty. Like, it'll actually keep fighting and it'll, it reacts differently. I don't know if it's worth playing on stream. Probably not, but it's definitely something I'm probably going to do by myself. Because uh, it is kind of almost wildly different. Anyway. The assignment begins. Not sure. There's any additional... Mechanics or functions to worry about while playing as Kidman. We will find out together. Seal will find out with me. We will achieve great things with mannequins. Again. You're not even delaying, you're just starting straight off with the mannequins. Alright, well. They exist together, but each saw things in their own way. It was as if each patient's consciousness filled in the blanks. Creating their own reality. Test notes from trial 716 AX. Do you stand with Mobius? I do. No. I made my choice. <laughs> wakey wakey. <laughs> oh, no, it's not by. So where did we, where did Kidman end up then when she started her journey into the STEM facility, basically? Well, why not? Maybe we won't. Maybe Shin Kitty will bug my feet. She likes to do that. You wanna put my lap? I swear, Kitty, you're gonna get spooked. Ah, Shin Kitty! Alright, we are Kidman. Oh man, we're in Outlast. Awesome. Oh, we started at the ambulance too. I thought we were in the, uh, the tramway. I guess not. Unfortunately, Sebastian already looted the place. So we're kinda screwed. Keith has entered the stream. Hello, Keith. It's a me, and that's a Keith. Hi, how are you? I got a stream kitty on my lap today. For how long, I don't know. Until you stop messing with my headphones. Until I get annoyed at him messing with my headphones uh, cable. Yes, I am Kevin. This is the first of three DLCs we're going to be doing before ending with Evil Within. I don't know how long they are. Kitty, please. We'll find out. Yes, I did beat the main story yesterday. All well, the cash. I wasn't alone. Where is everybody? Salem, please. <laughs> Why we can't have nice things, kid? Now you play you all done. I gotta get through the DLCs first. Like that's I. It's completionist in me. I gotta do all that. Kitty, I will take you off my lap if you don't stop eating my headphones. But 
we are Kitty, stop it. Alright, you're you're off. Sorry, kitty. I tried to be nice. Do you wanna eat my headphone cable? We're not doing that. Mmm, <laughs> cow. Delicious. Yeah, so we're where Sebastian started off. Same spot. Sebastian's gone. Kali is gone. What's his face? Uh, Joseph is gone. Sebastian's looted the whole area, so we get nothing. Thanks a lot, Sebastian. And Kidman has the stamina of an obese 12 year old. Alright. This is not where Sebastian went. Oh. Oh no, Kidman. It's like a four foot drop. What are you gonna do? Sorry, Detective Skips in a cream <laughs> Yeah, your gun's gone. Maybe that's something you should have checked before you left? Okay. Probably didn't talk when Sebastian had to fight him. How far do the, um, the lost, as they're called, how fast do they decay? Slowly? Guess so? Kidman, how could you forget your gun? It's almost like you were knocked unconscious in an ambulance for several hours. Shit. I've got to get out of here. Although it kind of looked like Kali was enjoying that moment a little too much. Like he was obviously still aware of his own existence. And his existence as a zombie. Smell like blood. Smell like blood. Wait, okay, so there are two ways to go around. Question mark. I better not sprint with uh, Kidman. She might collapse. I mean, random cervical, cervical, surgical chair. Criminal record. Record of sponge, juvenile offense. Criminal trespass, destruction of property, grand theft, receipt. Okay. Shoplifting. Grass possession of controlled substance. Robbery with firearm, grand theft. Okay. Do I care about the people in this criminal report? <clears throat> Man, Kevin, you are never gonna get through that 5k like this. You gotta train up your stamina. There's no going back. I mean, yeah? Oh, he's not very happy about his severance pay. I don't know. Disembodied voice of an awful protagonist. Everyone must be dead. I can kick at least. They're completely useless. Alright, through the crack. Definitely not an awful idea. Settle down, Leslie. I guess it's she? Leslie. Right, right. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what was Leslie. going on there. Leslie Withers. They were there. I'm sorry? Kid, I need you focused. I need your attention. Okay, D man. It's a serious matter. Everything we do is a serious matter. We have the Illuminati! I'm ready. I'd like to think so, but conviction must be proven with action. As I was saying, your target is Leslie Withers. He's a patient at Beacon Mental Hospital. But he's something more. Simply put, we need him to run our STEM <clears throat> system. Without this asset, our research will mean nothing. 
I don't understand. He be paid? We own Beacon. Why not just take him? Our relationship with his advisor, Marcelo Jimenez, has become rather strained. Marcelo Jimenez, thank you. Boy is a leverage piece. Jimenez plans to activate a STEM prototype at Beacon without our permission. Obviously, that's unsuitable. Have no illusions. It will be dangerous. Come, take a walk. Yeah. The nurses are waiting. So what point do we go into the STEM system? I'm assuming this is a flashback. <gasps> We don't need to leave this chair. We're just gonna pet the kitty for the rest of the uh, game. Oh, we need a kitty to say? That's amazing. Game mode survival. I didn't, yeah, I just realized I didn't get to pick a difficulty. Oh, bye, kitty. Yep, just like my cat. You pet me? Now I'm gone. Hello. Kitty? Okay, don't give a frick anymore. Or root through your desk, Mr. G-Man. Oh, okay. What architect approved this room? Like... <laughs> Did he specifically request a big empty room with a sofa that is way too far away from his desk? And just a glaring light in the background of some weird geometric patterns. Like, is that his aesthetic? Hey, you guys are fake. Are we in STEM, or is this a representation of faceless government official? Where must? We get talking people. Oh. <clears throat> nice gloves. Ready for the passage. Okay. Alright. Nice. This is actually a little familiar from what I've seen of Evil Within. Oh no, I don't think those are faceless government workers. I think they just forgot to run their textures. That happens a lot. And then they're like, oh, this will be uh, suitably uh, weird and creepy. And we'll just leave it in. It'll be a feature, not a bug. Oh my god, Kidman, please. How do you have less stamina in... Well, I guess, yeah. How do you have more stamina? Mm, I, don't, I, I was going to say it backwards, and then I... Yeah, I screwed that up. This is obvious she should have less stamina in the real world. <laughs> but it feels like she has less stamina in the virtual world, which doesn't make any sense. What took you so long? Were you running around like an idiot if for 20 minutes? If he activates the system, he'll be pulled in. Why? Hopefully he doesn't. But as a precaution, we've prepared an infusion <coughs> to prevent contamination. Oh, so we're in. Okay, so we're in the G-Man's version of. More accurately, to hide you. Stem. We develop stem, but there is a ghost in the system. Oopy ghost. Call. Ruthen. It means to keep us out. This infusion should protect you to some extent. <laughs> okay, but I joined Sebastian in the real world to get to the hospital. Because Sebastian was in the real world until he got knocked out. So how did I end up back in STEM between the time period where Sebastian was locked into the uh, Jiminy system and when Sebastian or when I entered the picture? Why send me alone? You Why walk faster alone. than I can? You'll be with your team from KPD. You'll get a call on the radio reporting an incident at Beacon. <clears throat> Everything will be arranged. But there are consequences of little value. In regards to your mission, they're expendable. Ah. 
That explains why you're so eager to kill Joseph. <coughs> Come, sit down. Think about how am I going to must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Loyalty is a sensitive subject for us. Trust is such a valued commodity in today's world. So once again, I ask you, do you stand with Mobius? I do. Yeah, you know, Mobius or Phosphonix is pretty cookie now cutter Yu-Gi-Oh card, though. With actions. Do not yeah. waver. Oh. Now I'm going to count down. I'm not in stone. So why are all the government faces... I'll ask you a series of questions. I guess it was like the face mis faceless representation. Or is this true serum? I don't think you're a certified doctor, sir. Two. One. Now I'd like to ask you some questions. First, which Shrek movie is the greatest of all time? Do you answer anything other than four? The ones you trusted. And you're wrong. And you're fired. Okay. I'm confused, though. How did I get with Sebastian in the... Was Sebastian already in the system and he didn't know it? The like Connelly, Sebastian, and Joseph, I'm pretty sure they were in the real world at the beginning of the first first main story. Rich's ads are just garbage. I didn't even know I had any ads going. Sorry. I'm not affiliated, so I don't know why they would put ads on my stream. Alright, somebody's getting a Halloween costume early. Anyone? With the standard generic insect head thing. Why would you buy a Samsung Galaxy for gaming? It's so that when you die in the game, it will explode. And then you will die in real life. It's that immersion they want you to feel. Hello, creepy alien insect man. I'm going to follow you. Which is obviously the smartest thing I could possibly do. Am I gonna get any pickups or. Kidman gonna be completely unarmed the entire game. I'm just looking. I feel like it's, you know, someplace they would put thing. Maybe I play the Fortnite and get <laughs> stream hard. Oh, Jesus. Anything but the Fortnite. I right, guess I'll go through the door. <coughs> Flashlight? Hello? Where did I get that from? Excuse me? What's going on? I'm gonna not kick open the door. It was against the door handles. I didn't even notice it. <clears throat> I was too busy looking over there. Okay, and that's a villain. Don't approve. Wait. Did he die in that position? That's gotta be an uncomfortable position to die in. Especially since he's a zombie. Right? Sebastian gets a lantern. Julie, Judy, Johnny, Ju Julie Kidman gets a flashlight. Yes. Well, to be fair, Julie Kidman is locked in a government science facility, and Sebastian got his lantern in the middle of uh, Amish territory in uh, Butlove in Arkansas, somewhere. Not 
in here so far. I'm on the lookout, because I feel like... They usually give you an early thing when you start, if you look around, you know, meticulously. Yeah, sure, just open this with your bare hands, that makes sense. Oh, please. What is this, a giant bolt lock on an apartment door? Hey man, you forgot your face. You alright? <clears throat> oh, I actually have a cover system. Are you kidding me? Ah, I love it. I don't just crouch behind things. I actually have cover. That is amazing. I'm already more happy than I was playing the first. Lock from the inside. Maybe there's another way in. Hey! Over here. Hmm. Julie gets a cover system? Yeah, cause she's a- she's government, you know, a worker, so she obviously is more experienced than Sebastian. Uh, dumb, dumb idiot. Well, Sebastian has a cover system? Please. No. No! But it's more like you just crouch behind something to hope they don't see you. Oh man, that sounded delicious. Like a spicy lasagna. Can you turn off the flashlight next time? Hello? Uh oh. Looks like nobody could help you, huh? Hmm. Oh, and I can peek? Well, that wasn't really peeking, but okay. Oh, shit. What could have done this? Maybe it was that monster? I saw a walk away. Enter. Oh, okay. Peek? I can peek over stuff! Oh my god, they're actually making use of the stealth mechanics that they tried to put into the main story. I love it. So they released the first game and they realized, oh, crap, we should have actually done something with that. Here's a DLC that makes up for it. Physical plant box, no, office area BO2. Hello? What is this? Ah! My nipples! Wow, there was no way to avoid that. You just made me lose health for that. I'm afraid that the fragile mental states of the subjects are limited. I don't have to read it this time? Mobius wants us to move past beacon patients and onto more stable people. They want to get STEM closer to its intended use. Would they see the world in the same way? Would a sane mind weather the psychically draining experience? <laughs> I had that dream again. It was a wet dream. Donald Trump was there. It was really, really weird. There's also some guy with an electric chair who just kept insisting that I sit down in it. And shocking him repeatedly. Call out enemies to lure them in your direction. Yeah. Enter cover keys. Move in cover. Peek around corner. Move along walls. Okay, so if I do... Right? Games DLC is already making the regular game look that's good. Yeah, you see what happens when you get rid of Sebastian? It just gets immediately better when you don't have an idiot protect. Yeah, I can't cover around corners though. Yeah, I don't trust this dead body. So can I lure them and stealth kill them around cover, is the question. And it's something I really want to test, like right now. Although the obvious, the smarter way to do it would be to co call them to a location and then move away from that location, but I need to find out now if I can kill them around corner. Emily called when perked up from her throne. Did someone say shocking that- oh. Uh, remember I was held in brothels. <laughs> Emily Calvin. Oh. 
Shoot. Yeah, I'm dead. I screwed that up though, because I thought she was going further than. Yeah. I still need to try that. I need to not move and just try what I said I wanted to try. Yeah, I have no choice but to lose health there. That's kind of sad. I'm afraid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got it. Maybe you shouldn't wear frickin' stilettos when you're trying to be sneaky. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Over here. Well, I don't have like a knife or anything, so. Sex appeal, yeah. Oh! Also, I screwed up not moving immediately. Stand still to completely recover health. Hide and use cover to increase recovery rate. Oh my god. Foxhead! Oh man, I wonder if it's, um. Oh, there's one there, too. But very likely, one, seven, that one. If it's an indication of how much they were... No, 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 I'm doing this backwards. No? Because if, if the blood on the number is an indication of how long uh, it's been sitting there... Either that. So did you that that? There it is. Yeah. Okay. I was just looking at the amount of blood wrong. Letter scrap one. Or misinterpreting it rather. <clears throat> Cause obviously he's bleeding, and the more they press the buttons, the more blood rub rubbed off, and so the less blood would be on the later buttons. And I have a weapon though. Hide. You don't enter cover very quickly. Actually, wait a minute. Can I? Do I get a peek out of this or no? The zoom? Move around. And actually look around inside. The camera rotation is ridiculously slow though. Like, it doesn't match up to how fast. Like, look at this. Look at what I'm doing with my mouse and moving. That was the same issue in the first one, though. So, it's not a big issue. But it's not like a new thing. Alright, which office am I? Physical plant reception. I'm very likely. I went that way. That way. I didn't go... Oh, I'm in the locker room. Wait, so is there... Simulation system? I don't know. I guess it's supposed to say I'm here in Office 1. So, vents there, vents all the way over there. Eh, bottle? You're not looking this way, so I'm just gonna walk. Let's see if there's anything over here, and then I'm gonna lure that idiot in here. I don't think so. Did they just not bother giving Kidman a weapon at all? Wait, hold on. I wanna put that over there. No, I'm not- Yeah, you already gave me that tutorial.
Pas mal. Alright, cool. You know, this shaft is definitely big enough for them to crawl into. I want to... Turn that off. Turn off the thing. Turn. Oh. You can't turn it off while you're in the middle of speaking. Okay. They can give her a weapon, but she's a... Uh... We need to show how frail she is because she's a woman. I mean, she basically just blindside killed Joseph, so I don't think she actually cares. Oh, cool. I have access to this completely unknown place that I'm in. Cool. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, man. Let's order a pizza. Oh, crap. How did I number... How did I know the number for that line? That's so cool, though. They actually turned it into, like, a stealth horror game. What? Uh, hi. <laughs> he didn't see me, did he? Put it here. DLC is great? Yeah, it is. Let me order another pizza. No worries. Him in. <gasps> yeah, get prank call achievement unlocked. Beautiful. Sucks to be you, butthole. What up, ho? Betty can't even dial a phone. Sebastian can't even dial a phone. You know, I don't doubt it. What up, ho? How you doing in there, huh? Huh? Yeah, sucks to be you. I'm gonna go this way. Where all the blood is. Less dangerous. He just stares at the phone out of ammo? Oh jeez. Go! Go! Go lady! Go! Oh. You're back, what happened? Uh, I entered a stealth game, somehow. Um, I'm not sure how. I'm actually in a stealth horror game. Almost like that's what, uh, Evil Within... Hi. You're not gonna let me get out, are you? What is this? Oh, it's a key card. Key card belonged to one of movie's staff. Pierce out of the blood of its previous owner. Awesome. Alright, cool. Let's see what this is. You didn't see me go in, right? Hi. Hi. You didn't see me go in here, right? Oh my god, what in the crap? Oh my god, that man just got bored. Is that a big sister? This is better for Swoops and Sebastian's Shoot for America. Yeah, I'm kind of agree. I'm pretty sure that was a big sister. Alien Isolation? I was thinking more like Outlast, honestly. Okay, so where do I go with this keycard then? Oh, 
I'm probably over here, but I haven't gone yet. Dude is just bashing the door. Spoilers, it's not opening. Yeah. Sucks for him. LOL, 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 LOL. Well, Oh boy, a hallway. We can't get rid of that trope. That ain't going anywhere. Uh, hello? Why'd you stop moving? Kidman? She stopped moving on her own. Do those spoopy hallways? door open for me. I don't approve. I, I don't like it. I'm actually unsettled right now. Something the original story had no no chance of doing. I keep looking around for stuff, and this obviously it's not going to give me anything unless it's right in my path, but I can't help it. Status terminated. Authorization invalid. I'm not dead yet. Terminated. Maybe I can force it open with the computer. Maybe it's foreshadowing. Can I close the door, please? We'd be playing a spooky game, maybe. Alright, time to hack the matrix. I'm in. That's not the data I put in there. Uh oh. I have nowhere to go here. And she's dead. You, you missed, lady. You didn't even get my legs in there. I'm guessing I was supposed to just run. I don't think, it doesn't look like there's a place I can hide once I do that. Because I can't get... Hmm. Because the door closes behind me. Nowhere to hide here, unless... I don't know. Alright, I'm, I'm assuming I just have to run then. Covers harder. Decays slowly. Terminated. Maybe I can Analyze force it open with the computer. Excuse? I'm a little confused here. I gotta be. You have to hide and go through the hole that thing makes. What hole? If it well, if it can only see where its light is at. It pops out of here. I don't know. No, I know. I'm not sure where to hide, that's the problem. I hid here and spotted me immediately. I didn't hide on this side, but... Alright, let's try again, I guess. Try again, Kidman. Agent status terminated. Is there a bottle you can throw? Um... 
terminated. Maybe I can force it open with the computer. Unless I'm missing something that happens when that happens. Let's try hiding on the other side. Analyzing data. Oh, it comes out of the vent. It doesn't break through the plant. If you're in this specific spot, he automatically hides under the desk. But if you're further away from the desks where it would be logical to be... Well, that's cheating. Did you just open a portal like Elizabeth from... Used its light. It went through the Chinese wall. It went to China. I think it flex it down here and that yeah. So are we Elizabeth again? Are we are we using our powers to Bring in alternate realities. What am I looking at? Always comes back to Bioshock. Hey, come on. Oh, okay. You missed the ending. Well, no, you didn't. There was a lighthouse at the end of the game. It was Beacon Mental Hospital. Okay. This is from before. Leslie. <coughs> is he really here? Who is Leslie? Exactly. We're all stuck in the hole with Elizabeth trolling us. Yeah, permanently, pretty much. Leslie is here. Okay, I gotta get to him before anything else does. So I can kill him myself. What? Leslie is the dumb white-haired kid Kidman was trying to shoot. Yes. In the door on this kid? No. Is there an indication then of where I can use my flashlight to open portals to alternate realities? Maybe it was the Chinese uh, flag on the wall? Like this, maybe? No? Yeah. Kitty! Come here, kitty. Look for the China symbol. What up, kitty cat? <clears throat> Alright, now. You're off, kitty. Um, yeah, go away. I'm petting a kitty. <laughs> this is my kitty cat. Kidman? Kidman. Kidman behind you. Um. Ignorance is bliss? If I stand up, he's going to attack me. Ah, uh, Kidman! Kidman! 
It's not gonna go away easy. Look, I know you want your turn to pet the cat, but this is my kitty. Get your own. Fine. You pet the kitty. Wait, what? Hello? Dad? What? Hello? Oh, there was a, like a thing right there. I don't know. You gotta come out of the vent. Vent is open. I get. Can I go through these things? No. Horrible idea, Kidman. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. Like before. I'm way too lazy to spam the space bar, buddy. Kitty, kitties, and mommy. Yep. Okay, that's not really cover. It's a glass window, kid. I can't break the glass. Go under here, though. Oh, hey. One of the clues is 14. Does it change every time I change a dial? 12, 14. I gotta find all the things. And two. Okay. Ah, right. there it is. Awesome. That's so cool! Wait, but which order? Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. Two is yellow, 14 is red, and 12 is blue. Uh, fourteen is blue. Okay. Two is yellow. All is red. Yes? Did you get that? No, 14 is red. There we go. If this was the whole game, this would be game of the year, right? Letter strap 2. Cause this is hella good. Like, seriously. Example. Like I have, I don't have a weapon. Like there's no illusions of survivability. I vote we play only DLC for Evil Within Two. I disagree because Evil Within Two is really good. Like they obviously learned. Wait, what? I have a bottle stored. I can store bottles? Can I get another one? Hold on. Obviously, they obviously learned from this DLC what to do with two. Probably wants me to follow a zombie, but I want to go here first. A 
fast now. I think that was the most unsettling thing we've seen so far. I can use it again. I have an endless supply of bottles. Awesome. I missed it because I was working on breakfast. Um. Yeah. Okay. Where? I kind of want to go over there. I'm going to throw that. What is this? I would have called this self. <gasps> You're kidding me. I can do that. Yes, I can. I can do that. do that again then. Oh my god, that's amazing. Where has this game been all my life? Do that, Kidman. Look away. Alright, go over there. That's not what I wanted to do. Dang it, Kidman, you moron. Absolute wank. And then again. Over there. Can I get to a different phone? No, I have to be that phone. Bye! <laughs> See you later, crap lords! Sucks to be you! Eh, you radioactive. Freaks. Huh. Got him. Yep. Beautiful. I love this. Ah! You jerk off. Just said I love this. How dare you? How dare you tarnish me? Man, a free credit card. We're gonna rake up so many charges. <laughs> Only thing she needs is, yeah, like not high heeled friggin' stilettos when she's trying to be sneaky on hardwood floors. That would be great. I wish I could close doors behind me. That's one thing I would like. <laughs> Instead of having to go, like, an arbitrary distance away from them before that happens. Any more snails? Wait, am I? Oh, because it's blocked. Okay. 
I mean, the, the stilettos are really good for impaling people. Alien Isolation took this concept, just went all out on it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Back in communist China. Don't you ever forget. You're one of us now. One. Mom's one of us now. Is this suddenly trying to remind me that I can do this? I'm working now. I can. I need to hold on. Can I rotate it? More shoddy workmanship. Nope. Can't go through that. So I'm supposed to do something here, right? Crack that? Like, there's very clearly supposed to be a door here, right? Do I shine the light on it? Is that what it wants me to do? Wait. The mark. It's incomplete. Oh. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. See? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Kidman. That was actually very helpful. You still have the stamina of an obese 12 year old, though. At track and field day. Well, I guess we know where Resident Evil 7 got the light bubble. Or, no, I guess Resident Evil, the first one, had it, too. But that was a better use of the light puzzle than fiddling with wooden statues for an hour. Sebastian casts my butthole. It's just, yeah. The air feels so heavy in here. Maybe you should lose some weight, Kidman. After months of secret subterfuge and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben... But man, I could really go for a Reuben right now. His studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. And so how long was Jim and Jiminy's... Because I refuse to call him anything else, working. Oh, hey. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I appreciate the time you give. That was my bad. Because uh, the right mouse button is what skips it, and I was trying to be stupid with the flashlight, <laughs> and it just vanished. Whoops! Oh well. Hope that wasn't important. Yeah, I gotta look for symbols all over the place now. <coughs> and snails. Can't forget that. Gotta look for snails.
Oh, this room's gonna suck, isn't it? This room looks like it's gonna suck a big pile of dookie. Is there another door in there? These legs? Uh, a bit weirder than that. And no, they don't have any atom in them. They have love in them. You'll, you'll see if I find one again. Hi, Rubik. What up, ho? Cool beans. Yeah, there's no evidence that he's gonna come out and start pooping on me, okay? The hooded sandwich? <laughs> Here, bugged. Fizzly Wizzlin. Oh no, it's just a crappy uh, projector. I'm in a haunted subway. Totally. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far. We've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence. Even on my patients with limited mental capacity, this method is rejected by the user. <laughs> if we are to accomplish what we intend... Well, maybe you shouldn't just show them pictures of their parents being beaten constantly. That's just weird. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. <coughs> that video. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. I just wondered where they got pictures of my dad beating my mom. I'm fucking weird. I tried not to say it, and I could not stop myself. Alright, so what's gonna be in here then, huh? Oh! It said yes, so I ate it. I'll take a potato chip and eat it! Right, is there gonna be a weird little bug creature in here? Another missing projector, maybe? Thing there. Oh no, it's a bone charm! What? What? A bone charm! Hello? Excuse me? Are we in the void? Is that what's going on? It's literally a bone charm. So are we just making all these posters appear then? Hmm. Something's gonna go horribly more than Like that guy is gonna be not dead. Now wake up. I'm gonna have to smack him. Yeah, I know there's something there. Game. Okay. I can't examine any of these, so I don't know what I'm looking at. This research here. This is exactly oh. what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. An OP bone charm with the choke speed, In that yeah. Case, where do you fit in? 
Ruben Sandwich. Ruben. Ruben. Take them in bathtubs, fully clothed, of course. We just let them absolutely bust wank everywhere. What? Door. Door. Not door. Not door. Way door. Pretty sure that was unintentional with the um the volumetric fog rendering. But that's actually really cool. Spooked. I'm sufficiently spooked right now. Nor the sounds in the back. We jam this thing in the base of their skull, and their inception dream sequence would put a psycho as the head of the dream sequence. <laughs> you die in the dream, you die for real, like the Matrix. No, it's my reality! Can I open this? Well, I obviously can't just go through there, right? But I have to go. I think I'm in one of those rats maps from Call of Duty with like giant uh, deadlocks, deadbolt locks. Really, this is actually a really tiny Barbie house. Really well done. Congrats. Sebastian! No, this is Patrick. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? Ah! We get to see all the things that Kidman did. Why didn't Sebastian have to fight any of those insect thingies? I have to get a gun at some point, right? Because Kidman had a gun every time she met up with him. Agent Stacks, terminated. Please contact Biometrics for reauthentication. I can't even get good severance pay inside my own dream. It's ridiculous. Kit Cat, we shall say it with a. Is there going to be another weird zombie appearing behind me, just staring into the lamp like a moth? I'm going to see if it happens. Okay. You know what? I think that zombie was actually there, and he got despawned because of the way the safe room works. Which would be utterly hilarious, honestly. Oh boy, elevators. Nothing could go wrong. Said literally everybody in a horror movie right before things go wrong. Your experience makes that all seem real. But you have to stay focused. It will take you a while to get your bearings. But you'll be better off than the others. And about the others. I told you before. Completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way. Find oh, Leslie and bring him back. That's all that matters. <laughs> so why did we put Leslie into the system then?
You dead. Hmm. All that shows me is that zombies can get into the, the vents, and I don't like that at all. Okay, I can play with the computer. I don't want to do that yet. Okay, so I'm going to need to do something with the elevator vent when it's here. See how the elevator is again? What? Can I look in here first? There's a lot of zombie dudes to deal with. They're all going to wake up as soon as I use the elevator. That's the hell of it. I don't see any other... I see a phone I might be able to use when that happens. I don't see any Chinese people. Oh hey, can I get up there? Alright, well, guess we'll just use a computer. We knew Kidman was a sleeper agent. She wasn't a sleeper agent, she was... Just, you know... Please guide subject construction and I don't think anyone's gonna help me out with this. Maybe that nice friendly zombie will help me out. Can I get rid of the vent by doing this? No. Um Okay, there's a zombie in an event, so something's gonna happen. I'm like gonna try to run into the vent and I'm gonna be screwed. Welcome to China. Facial profile constructed. Merchants deactivated account for Julie Kidman. Reinstating profile. Alright, well, who's waking up first then? Not you? Yeah. I know you, mother are gonna wake up. Matter when. Oh, is this where they filmed, filmed that uh, Hannah Montana video? Something about uh, a lot of balls. Hey, if I can kill you now, this is a good opportunity to do so, actually. Hey, you wanna grab me too? You wanna grab me? Come on. Come on. Come on. You wanna grab me? No? Oh, shoot. Okay. Place to hide, maybe? Later? Apparently when she was in certain inception trick, she was already in deep on the stuff and knew Ruben was gonna ruin uh, Yeah, yes she did. There's a lot more of her story in the second game. Well, before I go in there... I can hit the button? Question mark? No, I can't hit it yet. So I gotta lower the bridge somehow. Wanna grab me? You wanna grab me? No. It's just building up the suspense and it's gonna go wrong. I don't like it. Can I break through there? No. Oh, but I'm so screwed. Alright. Camper time. Leslie, I want to put money on him being stupid to put his Leslie in the section. Oh. Scanning. Please stay still for procedure. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem, lady. Oh. Parent profile constructed. Please complete neural profile to complete authorization. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna hide here. 
So are they sight, uh, or motion, uh, activated then? What are these things? Okay, there's that guy there. Maybe it's... don't move. They can't see you if you don't move. Yeah, Goblin. Goblin told me how to fight these guys. I don't want to go there yet. I want to go where it's here. Are they also a Nosmith? Is that what's going on? Can they not smell me? This could be an absolutely horrible idea, but I have to... Satisfy my curiosity. Yep, that was a horrible idea. Awesome. How far do you go? You're gonna kill me. No. Okay. Well, at least I kind of know how much leeway I have now. Creepy man, what the heck? <sighs> I would have died right before the checkpoint for doing something stupid like that, that's great. So they what do they react to then? Or is it light? Don't net no. Down. Got it. Can't tell where they are. It's there. Isn't it though? It's great! Okay, he's eating a delicious corpse. He is also eating a delicious corpse. Enjoying your delicious corpse? I hope. I, I can't get to the bottles while you're there. Though. Very rude of you. Am I gonna be able to sneak past this guy or no? I don't think I am. Okay. Yeah, no thanks. How would I not call enemies to my location? Is it what is there like some secret over there it wants me to go to? Is that why it's doing that? Maybe maybe it might be worth going over there. Why do we have to deal with Sebastian? I love gun flavored Gatorade, Cassianos, and Crazy Joseph Picklebane. Uh so they were the lackeys. Okay, so I wanna call this dude. But... <sighs> okay, so what is worth going in there for? There's a lever. Okay, 
you know what? I'm gonna... After this guy comes back. I'm so indecisive, it's gonna get me killed more than anything else here. I wanna go up there. Cause it looks self-contained? Always use ladders. Both hands. What if I only have one? Oh! It looked like a much bigger area than it actually appeared to be. Oh, that's gonna be so much more useful than... What? What is this? What? Oh, are you kidding me? That's so cool. Okay. Game of life. I'm trying to recall some old memories right now, I'm not gonna lie. Can I reset? No, I can't. Okay, so I gotta deal with this. I'd be at this puzzle for like a year. No, there's... I'm trying to think. Maybe I shouldn't hit buttons while I'm trying to think. Do that. 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 Good way to go around this than just hitting buttons before I figure it out. Look at the corners left. If I can get that set, it's not a big deal. Right? I wish I could help you, but I just use Google. Uh, I don't. to fill up the whole thing. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. That's unfortunate. That's alright though, we got it. Yeah, I figured it out. It has to do with, um, it's, uh, it's sort of similar to how you solve the, um, the knight's dilemma. Where you need to visit every piece on the board. It has to do with the, uh, going to spaces that have the least amount of possibilities to get into, uh, before going anywhere else. If you look at the Knight's Dilemma, it'll explain the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna do this... ...over there. Goodbye. Well, it won't explain that puzzle, but it will explain what my thought process was.
Now, granted, with the initial setup, there was probably a speedrun solution to solve it, obviously, but... I didn't consider that when I started, and I wasn't willing to just give up and go straight to Google at that point. So, here we are. <laughs> oh, we have to do the door. Okay. Are you upset that I interrupted your meal? You're not gonna stop doing that, are you? Did I miss my opportunity because I did that? Okay, you exploded. I don't have a bottle on me. That's okay. Now that I know I need to do it immediately, it's not gonna matter. You guys are not very happy about that, are you? Oh, a little close for comfort. All right. Obviously, I gotta move that, right? <sighs> okay. I gotta get to the other side of that, then. Hopefully, I can get in here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Are they going to react to this stuff? So don't push it. Oh. Okay, yes, push it. Yeah. That works out nicely. All right, shoot. Yeah, I mean, I know they explode now, so... Do that. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Oh, you guys resume your patrol routes way too quickly, don't you? Well, doesn't matter now, I suppose. You're now covered in effluvium. <laughs> Not quite, but this would be an interesting monster to uh, hunt, wouldn't it? It just explodes constantly. get back across for me. Do not jump from the bridge while it is in motion. Instead, wait till it's at the top and then jump to your death. What kind of warning does... what? What is this? Good man, Julie. 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 Oh. You've assembled quite the resume, I see. They taught you to read at the police academy? <laughs> I'm impressed. Your attitude won't be necessary today. What is this place? Why am I here? You've been arrested, Miss Kidman. And you're currently being detained. I'm sure even you could decipher that. That's not what I asked. 
This isn't your regular interrogation room. They don't give you cushy chairs when you're about to be sent to lockup. No current <coughs> address. On your own since 14, a runaway it seems. Quite impressive you made it this long without coming to your senses. If your street smarts are that keen, I'd imagine you'd have turned yourself around by now. It's more about survival. You think I'm fake I got caught? At least I get free food in jail. It's all good to me. What if I told you that today could be different for you? You're a smart kid. You've got nothing to lose, no one to miss you. A person with those qualities could be open to very specific opportunities. What are you saying? You offering me a get out of jail free card or something? Not quite that, but something close. I'm listening. So you can tell I'll take a fat dump on your desk if you keep asking stupid questions. Yeah. Just in the middle of the interview, just take a dump right there. Oh, this DLC is so good. <laughs> Wait, why did I need a head scan to use the handprint? Profile constructed. Profile matches terminated agent Julie Kidman. Termination reason insubordination. Profile reinstated, but data sent to Central Mobius for analysis. Insubordination? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I should be able to open those doors now. Music is very intense for no longer being in danger. I need to go up there. I don't think there's a way to get up there. You gotta hire this woman, she's shameless. She took a dump on my desk. You can have her do horrible things all over the earth and she'll just get over it. It was, st <laughs> it was steaming! I'm assuming those guys are still capable of waking up. Okay. So now I should... I need to use this again? No, I can just go back and use it. Oh, where the insect creature was. Oh, Jesus. Sounds like an... Ah! Ball sacks! Ah, uh, hi! I hate you! <laughs> Meanwhile, at Crimson City... Wow! Yeah, they actually got me with a jump scare in the DLC, finally! Good job, elevator! City Police Department. Like, this is a great place to work. There's kitty cats everywhere. There's uh, flesh eating monsters and, and horrible exploding uh, spider creatures. It, it's great. Did I mention the cats? They're adorable and I love being pet. Yeah. Name is Sebastian, like a serial killer or something? I thought people with that name push trash cans or slept in alleyways. They do both! And then they burn fires around the trash cans and beg for food on the streets. Hey, I can finally... There's a door up there that I could go through too. Well, I'm just gonna take a run. A brisk walk upstairs because Kidman will collapse if I try to run. <sighs> See if there's any reason to... See if there's any reason to go back to the other doors, but there's not. I have not found another snail. I'm a little confused. Was that the only snail in the game? Not that good, Kidman. It's still running on Windows XP. I 
I know open room, checkpoint, lots of cover. Not really a lot of cover. Probably he's a questionable idiot. He stared at a coffee cup full of coffee and said it was out of ammo. <laughs> out of ammo? No, Sebastian, it's a coffee cup. Excuse me? Okay, so there's a pattern somewhere I need to do something. Balls on the ceiling in my butthole, I don't know. Maybe I need to look down. I'm in the middle of solving the puzzle, don't do this to me. Okay? Back, back of the... Oh, she's back of mine. Hire him as a diversity hire, put him on bull BS cases. We'll never make an arrest. No one can say we don't support, <laughs> support uh, local morons with a... on the force. Share him with Joseph's kid, the one who had a gun to his head the entire interview and claimed if he took it off his temple, his brain would spill out. Pretty good. So where is the solution for this? It doesn't look like... This is like the monitor setup down the one minute. You needed that laugh, yeah. After the last couple days of the uh, the main storyline, I'm looking for some sort of clue that might elude all that puzzle. I am sure. I'm not sure what I would even begin to be looking for after that. Well, there's a light on over here. Oh, hi. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. Why is the light on over here? Local police officer found locked in an officer pushing on a door labeled. <laughs> they were pu pulling on a door clearly labeled push. Their names have not yet been released, but the chief is publicly shaming. Nice. I love these puzzles. Better scat four. Are we ever gonna get the full the full uh, torn diary page? Oh, we never know. Another light over here. I doubt it's worth investigating. To the generator! You love the narrative? Yes. I don't love Kidman's ridiculous lack of energy. She's probably exhausted because she's in those stupid heels all the time. Like, Kidman, just put on some sneakers, or go barefoot at this point, you wouldn't be so worn out. Hi. Uh, for real, wearing heels is like the worst thing ever. And I don't know how women can do it, like other women can do it for so long. Like, I did it at Paul's wedding? Was it Paul's wedding? Yeah, it was Paul's wedding. And it just sucked so much. I was done. After like 10 minutes, I just could not. I had to sit. Rest in peace and peace.
Bash and Joseph are a total moron. The Kidman is forced to work with them constantly. Yeah, she just has to. She has to babysit the two children. Got to change the diapers. Got to. Oh, another audio thing. Patients emerging from the stem are becoming more erratic. The pathologies seem to be amplified by the experience now. Even worse, patients now seem to experience each other's psychological trauma. It's as if the user's deepest fears linger within the encephalon of the system, even after the session is over. The most concerning thing are their most recent statements. Every single patient claims to see a hooded figure slowly approaching them. Could it be him? His consciousness existing as a ghost in the system? My curiosity has never been piqued like this. I want to know. I want to see what they see. But it's too risky. For now. So was Rubik dead the whole time in the first game? Or like the main story? And his consciousness was just sort of floating in there? Like a virus? Was he the zero virus? The Mega Man's... Uh, what did he use to fight? I don't remember what power he used. Yep, saw that coming. I'd rather you just be dead now. If I stop moving, I wipe all the blood off and I heal. Get my health back. Hey, I mean, I was one of the dumb hoes wearing heels. They weren't too small for my feet, though. I'm just way too fat. And not meant for heels right now. Hey, we're in the server room. There's obviously going to be something to hide from. As soon as I approach that door, probably. Checking. Checking for, checking for Chinese propaganda, real quick. No? <laughs> Alright game, where is it? I don't like you, buddy. Why are you in high heels? Power restoration at fifty percent. Oh no. Oh shoot. Kidman, go! Oh my god, that's so tense. Crap about electric being electrocuted, though, do you? Power is now restored. Elevator is now in service. Thank you for waiting. You're welcome, kind lady. Ah, must suck to have no arms. Friggin' eat my butthole. Yeah, I'm sure. 
You're in agreement that Sebastian just for idiots and Kidman since he has to care of, take care of them. Sebastian actually gets a clean save of the day. Yeah, eventually he does. But he had some plot devices that helped him along the way, so yeah. You know, like a dead body lands next to him with a rocket launcher. Very convenient. He was basically Black Batman and has the power of plot device. Oh my god, Kidman, please. When can I upgrade my stamina? <laughs> I hear bullets. Okay, you can't make me keep missing them, because Kidman did not miss them that frequently in the story. Kidman is Emily Baldwin. Yep. No upgrades at all. He is Emily Caldwin and Elizabeth at the same time. Hey. 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 Hey, I met up with him. And Joseph didn't even notice me as I slowly opened the door. Why are the female protagonists so good? Detective! I'm here! I'm safe! They're not Detective. deaf, they're just ignoring you because Joseph. you're a woman, Kidman. Obviously. Mobius. So they sent you to take the boy back. You trust them. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Uh, Just as Kidman. As your partners are. As I was. After all I did for them. We'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Oh. Fashion and Joseph run head first into the window. Not realize it's a window. Interesting. <clears throat> also, I just figured out why Leslie needs to die. Dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you. Wait, that was chapter one? Or excuse? That was only chapter one? Ah! Oh my god, there's so much so much more. I love it. Joseph! I thought it would jump into the uh, the next DLC with that. Also, yeah, you gotta go soon. Okay, I gotta end the stream well, soon too, but you'll just have to fend for we'll be himself. okay. Gotta keep on track. Yeah, and I think I just figured out that because Leslie is the only one who's compatible with Rubik, he needs Leslie in order to uh, meld his mind and get back into the real world because he's dead. That's why. Wait, where? All right, where's the where's Chinese propaganda here? Hello, Nani. Yeah, you said that near the beginning of the stream. I wasn't listening to you at all. Oh, that wasn't there a second ago, was it? Basically, empty fishbowl. Hi. Do you want to open this for me? Hello? Hello, sir? Please help. Can I... You debating on whether or not you want to help me? I have fresh bodies over here if you want them. They're not going to do anything. anything else. Unless this thing is... No? 
you tutor, and I know when people are not listening. Well, I would also be in the shaft about how good the DLC is. I'm, I'm confused. But... Maybe there's like a block I need to push or something? Oh, there it is. There is the Chinese propaganda. Alright, Elizabeth, do your thing. Dude, man, that, that first chapter was long enough to be its own DLC. I'm so... so happy that it continues. Not gonna lie. It's G-Man on the TV, just like in Half-Life. But now he exists as Reuben inside the Encephalon of Static. Reuben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system by himself. But we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened to him? Reuben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting in the wrong people. Ruvik, he knows I'm here. You think? Oh. Cockroaches. Okay. So what's the next spooky monster gonna be? It's not gonna be that slithery snake thing, is it? I don't want to deal with that. Really nice axe of it. Are you kidding me? Are you gonna let me see these invisible enemies too? Oh yeah, I love this. Is there a reason I would want to be a uh. Oh. Why did she suddenly trip there? Hi. Too bad you can't climb. You gotta go? Alright, see you, Jersey. Have fun. I'll be dealing with this idiot. I would have thought shining a light on him would have upset him a little bit. Moron, I got it. Can I just kick you from here? Nope, you instantly grabbed me? Okay. Sneak kill, instantly kill, and then ask, ask. Yeah, it's cool that I've used a flashlight to, like, reveal him, but doesn't that set him off, too? Wouldn't it, anywhere? Maybe I don't shine it directly in his face, perhaps? Okay, I can look around cover without him seeing. Can 
Can I grab that from here? Yep, thank you. If I can not waste that on him, that'll work excellent. Oh, hi. That is so cool. No, don't leave cover. I know he climbs up here a little bit, so I want to be able to see where he is. Should be, should be good here. Probably gonna be more though, right? I guess. Another one. to be super sneaky. Oh. Did a guy open that or is it just opening up? Good here. But I'm pretty sure I can just go through this. Um, blah, 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 blah. How far out do you go? How do I switch to the axe? Switch to the axe! Edmund, switch to the axe! Oh my god, how do I switch to the axe? How do I switch to the axe? Yeah, I know you're there. How do I switch to the axe? I don't understand! dead, because I don't know how to switch the axe. I need to go out and figure out how to freaking axe. I have no clue. I also need to find a safe room. Hold on. How do I switch the axe? It's like stuck there. Just aim, sprint, cancel cover, confirm the interact. Oh, I don't want to kick. How do I freaking? I'm so confused. Why can I put the, put the flashlight away? Can I not put the axe? Can't switch to it. I am so freaking confused right now. Something else. Never. Our subjects are dying. They come out from stem abruptly, passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic, babbling 
incoherent messes that we can't properly interview. We've done nothing to the process to cause this change. It must be the ever-growing collective consciousness of the STEM system. These patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure. We need more sane subjects, perhaps to cleanse the system. At its current state, the system is unsustainable. Something Mobius will not approve of. This time, only I am to blame for this. Our new prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. How is it even down there? Like, why is it not on two? I'm so confused. Hello? Video games? I'm pressing every conceivable button to pull out the axe, and I don't... Somebody, please, tell me. Is it a, is it oh, it's a con uh, it's context isn't it it's a context action I have to actually be sneaking up on them mmm I think that's what it said the tutorial and I just completely I assumed it acted like the old one oh, I'm an idiot all right so <clears throat> well, we can get through this door at least now. We not. And you don't. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. He totally saw that coming. Ah. Unfortunately, I don't get my ads back. I mean, there might be one for each room? Ops? Or maybe I killed him for no reason? Yeah, there's one over there, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's sneak kill only, and I just... I realize it said something about that sneaking in the tutorial thing that it showed up, and it just completely went through my head. Wait, why am I here? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Because yeah. I need to be able to do this without him jumping up my butthole. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm not gonna tap it. That's for losers. I'm gonna close behind me anyway, so let's fight. Seems like an awful idea. Does not seem like a good idea at all. Anybody here? Slowly make my way. Uneventfully. To this area, okay? Nobody come out and attack me. You guys are so helpful. I'm so thankful. You destroy this box. Punch. Oh, kick, feather. Something in the water worth exploring, or I don't care. <laughs> Going. I'm not dealing with that now. Oh. 
fine in here. Can't peek out like I did before. Oh, this is gonna be awful. I need propaganda, save me. Hear a thing. Are the gunshots from uh, Joseph and uh, Sebastian, or random things? Oh, it's a future cutscene with loading in textures. Why don't you not stand where the one is? That'd be awful. Ow! Right in the face. Wait, why is that thing not attacking me then? You're gonna... Oh! You can turn them into the lost. Or is that one of those spider corpses? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh boy. Oh my god! Give me! Give me gun! Give me gun! Gimme. I will shoot it. I will shoot the thing. Gimme. Yes! There's gonna be more of them, yeah? Oh, I don't have ammo. What? I have endless ammo on this thing? Maybe try to get yourself out of this situation while you're here. Might be a good idea. Oh jeez. Reload. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, those guys are not happy. Can't believe I'm in on a rail segment here. Reload, reload, reload. Double kill. Ah, you ain't so tough when you got bullets in your face, are you? Aw oh, man. My infinite ammo gun. Why do you gotta do that to me? I have a gun now. I'm hoping that doesn't ruin. If Leslie's down here, I doubt he'll last long. The aesthetic they have planted with the whole game, like just the whole atmosphere they've done with this, I hope it is not ruined by the presence. Of I really do. So I have, I have a gun with my ammo, but I do have a gun, so. I'm assuming they won't give me a ridiculous quantity of ammo. Hopefully, if they've learned their lesson from the main story. The way they've set this up, that would be awesome. I'm gonna look around for Chinese propaganda though. I'll swallow that. Seems like a sneaky ladder. Mm, nothing like there. But that thing you ran this way. But might want me to go that way. Because the ladder's kind of hidden up here, so I'm going to go up the ladder first. See if there's anything worthwhile up here. Maybe a save point. Oh, another puzzle box. What am I looking at? It's just a single number. Couldn't I just spin the dial until it works? No, I think it's actually going to function like a traditional dial. You have to go like... I don't remember what the order is. It's like left... 
clockwise, and then you go counterclockwise, skip the first number, or skip it once, and then do it again, and then go clockwise again. I haven't been to high school for a long time, so... I'm assuming that's what it's going to want me to do, yeah. Counterclockwise to 11, eh, uh, close enough. Clockwise to 4 and count. 11, 4... I might have just done this completely backwards. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Edmund, please. reason to go down here or is it just here? It might just be here. It's a very, very grotesque area. To be honest. Also, why are there so many box why is all the puzzles in uh a box head box? Do they reveal information about the sleeper himself? Or not the sleeper, the seeker? I think that's what he's officially called. Hey, G Man. I told you before, <laughs> completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. I remember that conversation. I was there for that. You know what to do. I haven't been in the way, they've mostly been completely useless. <laughs> like, I bet Kidman was the one who actually dropped the body with the rocket launcher to Sebastian. Like, at the very end. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll step in your food. I'm gonna step in it some more. And I'm also gonna save. We're gonna stop here for the day. Oh, I'm so, so happy about this. I love this DLC so far. This is far and above quality of what they presented in the main storyline. But, that will be it for today. Uh, tomorrow we will be back 10 a.m. Central, like normal. Uh, continue this. I honestly expected to complete one of these the first day, so... I don't know how long this is, but there's two more after this. And if I have somebody who is streaming right now, I will go ahead and rate them. Otherwise... I yeah, know everybody's offline at this time in the morning. <laughs> Uh that's no makeup stream. <laughs> yeah, nah. I, I don't have anybody right now. So I am watching relax beat. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. So we will see you guys tomorrow if you have enjoyed. <laughs> I was gonna say two different things. I'm See you tomorrow. I mean, hi. Thank you so much for.